Now that we have our CSS file linked to our front end application, we will be able to style it in any way we want to. In this next lesson, let's turn our attention back to the index.html file. In that last lesson, we added this div in here. We, we gave it a class of auth app form. And in this div, this is where we're gonna start writing out our login form that we're gonna be using to allow the user to input their credentials and make that request to our login endpoint. So the way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna write out our HTML. It's gonna look really, really bad as, as we go along, but we'll get to the styling in a little bit. I'm, I'm not gonna to spend too much time explaining the HTML. It's quite simple and standard. So let's just uh, go through it for the sake of building this out. The first thing in this div tag is I wanna add a, a new heading and I'm gonna just make it an H2. And we'll write something in here like enter your details to log in you can go ahead and save that the next html tag we're going to use here is a form we don't need any attributes on this form at this point in time that default action attribute sometimes gets appended on the tag but we don't need that so you can just remove it and this form is going to have a few different inputs uh, one for our password our email and then a button to submit it so let's start building that out i'm going to give up me some space in the form and i'm going to use this label tag we'll label this for email and then in between the tags we'll just use email there underneath that we're going to use a input element here the type's going to be email We'll give this an ID of email as well. And then for the placeholder, we'll just put in email with a capital E and you'll see that renders out onto our page and that's all good. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this one more time so that we can do the same for password. So you can just copy that. We're going to then change the, the values so that it's for password. So we can just do the label first, this type, we're going to make sure that it's a password type. The ID will be password and the placeholder will be password with a capital P. If I hit enter, you see it does appear in the DOM and that's looking good. Well, not looking good, but at least it's there on the page. Next up, we're going to create a div and I'm just going to give this a class of error message. And for now, there's not going to be anything in this div. We're going to use this to append any errors that uh, that we need to display to the user as I start interacting with this application. And then next up, we will create a button. We can give this a type of submit and a class of form button. In between the tags there, we can just say login and you'll see the, the login button does appear on the DOM. Very lastly, I wanna create a simple little message here to the user to be able to toggle between the, the register and the login pages. So we'll create a P tag here we'll give it a class name of form toggle. And then in the, the P tag, we'll say don't have an, an auth app account. Then we'll just use a anchor tag here, and then we'll reference uh, the register page, which we still need to make, but I'll just write it out for now. And then in between there, we will just say register. And then you'll see we have that don't have an account, and then they can click on register. And at this point, if you click on it, there is no register page. So the server is saying it cannot find that file. So let's just go ahead and create that file. We'll say new file in our, our front end folder here, and we'll call it register.html. can just put a simple paragraph in there for testing purposes. And if we hit the register now, you'll see we do indeed get a reference to, to that register page. Now we have our basic HTML all set up for our, our login form. Let's go ahead and style this up now. We can head on over to our index.css. And to get started, I'm just going to add a reference to the H1 tags. And we're going to give this a font size. Let's do 36. We'll do a, a font weight of 300. And then right underneath that, we'll do the H2 tag. And the font size for the H2, we'll give this 18 pixels and the font weight will be 300. And then let's just adjust the, the H1 to be 500 and that looks a little bit better. Underneath the H2 tag, let's reference our class that we've created here in the index.html for this whole entire div or for the form. So let's reference that auth app form. To start off, we'll just give this a background color 
of white. We'll do a font weight specifically for the form. We'll give that 200. Text align, we'll assign this to default to left. Then padding all around, let's give that a value of 40 pixels all around. Let's give this a very small border. We'll do one pixel solid, and then we'll use the RGBA again. We'll give that pure black color with a very a light opacity of 0 0.16. And then lastly, let's add a border radius here. Let's do six pixels. Just add my semicolon over there. And then lastly, let's just do a fixed width here. Let's call it 360 pixels. So if I hit save, you'll see there's a nice uh, white background with some rounded corners and a little border. And that kind of gives us a little bit of perspective to see where the form is actually sitting on the page. And now let's start working on specifically this, uh, the inputs and the labels and all of that. Moving on, we can reference the auth app form specifically the h2 element and let's text align that we'll give it a value of center that'll move that over the next up let's make a reference to those inputs on the form so we'll say auth app form and then we'll reference the input selector there let's give that a width of 100 percent that starts looking a lot better. It's starting to just stack that vertically. And then let's just give a very small margin on the bottom of each input. We'll do 10 pixels. That gives us a little bit more space. And moving on next up, let's take a look at those labels. So we'll say auth app form. And then we'll reference the, the label selector there. We'll do a font weight. We'll make this small, let's say 100. And I realize we might not even have 100 in this. So we can just add the value 100 into this href string that we have here right after that wght at. Let me just put a semicolon there. And you'll see then it does get applied. I realize that we didn't have that 200 for the font weight. So let's just change the font weight for the whole form to be 400 by default. Again, let's also change the h2 to be 400 as well. Once that's done, we'll have just the, the labels that are slightly smaller. And then let's just give this a smaller font size, let's say font size of 13 pixels. Next up, let's take a look at the button. So if we take a look at our HTML, we did give this a class called form button. So we can just reference that straight away. So we'll say form button. And let's start off with the background color. We'll use the RGB again. And that's going to be 84. 146 and tri triple two. You can see it's starting to, to change and take shape as we apply them. So we'll give it a color of white, which will make the text white. Next up, let's give it a width and a height. So we'll do 150 by 30 pixels. That makes the button a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and remove that border. So we'll say border is none. And then we'll do a border radius here of let's say six pixels and then let's just use the display property here and let's uh, sign that with block and then in conjunction with the display block we'll say margin auto sorry that's auto and then that'll center that in the middle of our form and i think that looks good something very basic and simple but it looks half decent last thing to do here is just this p tag here so we can reference this form toggle. So we'll say form toggle. And then let's align this in the center. Let's give it a margin on the top of 10 pixels. And then the font size, we will do 14 pixels. I'm going to hit enter and that looks good to me. I think that's a, a good start for our application. So now that we've implemented that login form on our index.html file, we've styled it up um, in a very basic way. Let's take a short break here. We'll pick up the, the work we need to do on the register page in the next one. So I'll see you on over there. Cheers for now.